hello again, I'm Coach Brian with Northwest Elite Spirit, and today I want to talk about memes uh, and catchphrases. And the reason this kind of sparked off for me is that the other day I saw a male and a female both post photos of themselves where they were saying that they never quite felt comfortable in their own skin and the male shared a picture of himself with his shirt off and the female shared a picture of herself in a bikini and again they were talking about how they never quite feel comfortable in their own skin and how those, it was a big deal for them to be sharing the, the shirtless and bikini photos. And at first I thought maybe that was inspirational. Uh, but then, a few days later, they both share um, memes or quotes, catchphrases about how you should never feel comfortable. And I thought to myself, well, no wonder these people are always uncomfortable, even no matter how, how fit they get, no matter how much endurance they get, no matter how much they achieve, they never feel good enough. And I think it goes to those sorts of things. Um, you should never feel comfortable. So, if you have this core belief that you should never feel comfortable, and you start feeling comfortable, that sabotages that belief, and it's just like this vicious circle that you're always going in. Um, another meme or catchphrase or quote that bugs me is, no pain, no gain. Uh, of course, if you're like trying to get buff or you're like trying to run far, or you're trying to win like a boxing match or jujitsu match, there's pain involved. Um, but even in those things, there's areas where there's no pain and there is gain. For instance, just sleep. If you rest, um, there's no pain in that. And there's so much gain from that. Or eating. Uh, you know, a healthy meal. There's no pain in that, or there shouldn't be. Uh, maybe, maybe somebody with like issues around food may have some mental pain in that. But I don't. I, again, I don't think you end up gaining when you approach food like that. I think if you approach it in a mentally healthy way as well, um, there is gain, which would be no pain associated with the food. Um, Meditation, there's no pain in meditation. Um, and there's so much gain to be had. Visualization, there's a lot of gain to be had in that. Um, yoga, no pain in yoga, lots of gain. Stretching, I, I know there's painful stretches, but there's also non-painful stretches and there's a lot to be gained from that. Um, 1% better every day and my issue with that is uh, like people like really start tracking and they're more they're more worried about tracking their progress than just showing up doing their thing paying attention and enjoying it and just naturally getting better um, like say with archery I've been practicing archery and I go out and I shoot for a while and I just naturally like I don't have to like I don't have to like document it or anything like that I can naturally see my shots get tighter and tighter and tighter and I don't have to worry about it I just keep trying keep focusing and naturally I end up hitting closer to my goal without having to like worry about you know 1% better every day. Um, what's the other one? Karma's a bitch. And karma is 
related to these things a little bit. Like if you approach food unhealthy or you approach workouts in a, in a, in a willy-nilly way or if you, like say for instance, if you believe um, no pain, no gain or if you believe um, you should never feel comfortable, like you're going to avoid meditation because meditation requires getting comfortable and there's no pain involved. If you're going to stretch, stretching for me, I get very comfortable and there's no pain involved. Yoga can be uncomfortable, but when you're good at it, for me, uh, it's comfortable and no pain involved. Food, water, all these things, if you believe, um, if you believe no pain, no gain, or if you believe you should never be comfortable, you're going to sabotage those those things and um, the karma from that belief will naturally cause you to you know continue this vicious circle it'll cause you pain it'll cause you um, uh, frustration uh, and karma is often or is always like a result you did this and you got this so if you're like if you avoid sleep, you're going to suffer. If you avoid uh, meditation, it'll be harder to focus. Um, if you avoid stretching, it's going to, you know, you're going to cause injury or tightness, right? And so karma isn't a bitch. And karma is, a lot of times, comes from... Like, we, we think we're in this situation. We, we don't understand, right? We don't understand. Like, what's going on? Why would this happen? Uh, often it happens because we're, we haven't paid attention to the initial act that caused the outcome. Um, sometimes just in the timeline of life, it's so far removed that we um, aren't able to make that connection. Um, Often, it's from our mental state, like the seed of, uh, it's the seed of our intentions. So we, we get these outcomes over here, because deep down, you know, we, we don't feel like, um, like these things are worth it, that will actually help in the future. Again, uh, if you believe no pain, no gain, you avoid rest, meditation, yoga, stretching uh, and so I need I, I think we need to start paying closer attention to where we're getting our influence from where we're getting our motivation from and if these people are truly reaching their goals they may be running far they may be you know lifting heavy weights but are they in the end happy are they in the end mentally healthy? And we have to also be aware that if we go and we spread that, you know, if somebody comes to us, if we've been practicing these means, practicing these ideas, and we know that we're not actually uh, happy inside, we will spread that. So we're spreading these ideas, these means to other people. And, and I think it makes for... Uh, a less healthy world and I think too that comes from like when I started jujitsu and when I started running I started getting bombarded with all these uh, you know like you can see it like you go to a jujitsu page and it has all these memes and these ideas and these opinions and you can start to be your personal idea and your personal journey can be hijacked by other people's ideas and other people's um, influence. And then rather than you taking this journey and, and reaching your personal goals, and you may even reach a championship, you may even reach you know, medals and accolades, but somehow they're not your own because your momentum has been hijacked and then turned into something um, that other people molded rather than what you molded. So I think we just need to be careful of the seeds of our motivation, the seeds of our 
inspiration, the seeds of our ideas, and what the outcomes truly become. And then we need to be aware of how we're influencing other people. And, and I think we'll have a healthier, happier um, world if we start paying closer attention to these things. I'm Coach Brian with Northwest Elite Spirit. Give this a like. I would love it if you would comment and share your thoughts on it and your experiences with these things. Um, share it with the world and subscribe. Thank you.